Hey guys, it's Linux Benchmarks here, and um, in today's video, I wanted to teach you guys how to install a popular game that uh, lots of people do like to play, and that is called Osu. Um, if you don't know what Osu is, it's like, uh, you know, music-based, and you have to, like, click on certain things to match a certain beat for to continue the music, and, like, you got these, like, speed differences, and all that crap. Um, I wanted to teach you guys how to install it today on Linux. Uh, someone on Reddit today um, asked about uh, if uh, Osu who worked on Linux and uh, one of the issues that he had was the the uh, was it called Lazar or Lassar forgot the name of it uh, but that version of Osu uh, doesn't have leaderboards as it's an unofficial Osu version so you, I don't think you can sign into an account um, so he was asking about the um, yeah the official version is there an official version that you can run on Linux and uh, there is you can just run uh, Osu through the Wine version so I'm going to teach you guys today how to install either um, the Wine version or the Flatpak version so this one is the Flatpak version like the uh, Lazar, Lassar, we want to call it, um, version of Osu. So this is unofficial, but it is um, packaged and updated uh, a lot. Um, as you can see here, it was updated pretty recently, 14 days ago. You can easily grab it on your store. So either you can grab the Flatpak um, file and in install it through the store or install it through the terminal, or you can just go to your store like Discover or Gnome Software and just simply search for Osu. And uh, that simply should come up, as you can see right here. You just click install and then you can launch it and it will work. But if you want the official version of Osu, the, you can use the Windows, uh, you know, the .exe uh, version of Osu uh, to run it through Wine. So um, I found this um, forum from this person, uh, Marsh Nello, who made a tutorial um, not long ago, and uh, he was running it on uh, Zorian OS. And the installation is quite easy, I would say. So I already have it installed, but you would just go through these, um, these commands here. You would just copy and paste. You see it already exists for me. Um, you would CD into it. Um, you know, we CD into it. Uh, and then we want to change some permissions on the .sh file so that it can uh, read and write. Um, then after you give the permissions, uh, you just want to run the .sh file. And that's quite easy. Um, uh, simply what we'll do here is we'll do osu wine remove so that I can go through the steps again. Um, it will delete the wine pre prefix, delete the game files, whatever. I haven't really used it um, that much. Uh, but here we go here we just run the .sh file and it will create a wine, prix, a wine prefix for us it's going to install all the necessary um, dependencies when I first installed this it had like a bunch of dependencies it needed to be installed but for this one it just needs wine and wine 32 bit and yeah, after that's done installing, um, it's basically going to create a shortcut for you and um, you can launch the game and instantly start playing. And it does seem like it uses a TKG version of Wine uh, 8.21. So that's a really new version of Wine as well. Um, as we can see here, we can uh, choose what we want to install the game. So the default path will be .local slash share slash osu wine. Um, so that will be in our home folder, I'm pretty sure. Um, it did find a version or it did find Flatpak uh, Lutris, uh, but you don't want to do that. Um, we want to ignore that so that instead of um, mucking around with Lutris, if we uh, look through here, it did grab Wine32 uh, zip. So it's going to create those directories for us. Um, it's probably going to install some other dependencies like um, Wine Allo, um, probably some fonts. Like right now, it's installing um, some fonts for us. So after, that, after that's uh, fully installed, it won't take that long to create the shortcut and then it would just you know right now it's just creating a prefix um it did come up with some errors which is perfectly fine i did get these errors last time and the game still launched um perfectly fine so um don't worry about those errors if those errors do come off you just ignore it say no and just let it skip it all right and so it's here warning if osu wine doesn't work just close and relaunch your terminal um, we can just close this and we could just simply search for um osu as it's created a shortcut for us and now it's going to open the osu updater um, just like it would on windows and it's going to you know, update the game client um, and yeah after that's done it will just launch and it will work just the same all right as you can see here osu is now launched um, you can see it's working perfectly fine downloading a bunch of different uh, music for us 
Um, so the next thing, you know, you just want to um, do the offset adjustment and change this to minus 35 milliseconds so that it's the same uh, like audio with Windows. Um, as I see here, but before playing, you'll need to adjust your universal offset to around minus 35 milliseconds so that your OC will sound just like on Windows. Warning, uh, minus 35 milliseconds is what I generally recommend, but try to find your sweet spot from minus 40 milliseconds. As you see here, um, here you show an example of it running. Circle. And of course, if you need any help, you can easily open your terminal, um, do osu uh, dash wine dash dash help, um, and you can look at some of the commands that it has, um, and you can basically muck around with that. If you have any issues, if you want to remove it or um, fix the prefix or update it or whatever, um, you will just do it here. And that's basically it. So if you did do it, enjoy this um, short video for today, you definitely can give it a like and subscribe. Um, we're almost at like 1.4K subscribers, which is pretty crazy um, to say the least. Well, actually checking uh, my dashboard, we have hit 1.4K subs. I only needed like two more um, subs and we would, would have hit 1.4K. So thank you for 1.4K subs. Uh, I really do appreciate it like a ton. Also, like I said, with the members who joined seven days ago, uh, Florian Stadler, uh, thank you for supporting me, bro. I really do appreciate it. Also, uh, Nulla, or um, I like to call him his real name, which is Shante. Um, I want to thank you as well for being a supporter. Um, if you want to become a member, you definitely can, uh, but you don't actually need to. All you need to do is basically like the videos so then the algorithm can recommend my videos over other videos. Um, so hopefully more people will click on my videos, even though um, it seems like the channel's been doing quite well uh, recently. So um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like, um, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.